They want me to do what? Stop. They, they do that? Truck, I'm ready to go. What do you got? What? They want me to do what? Stop. They they do that? For how much? Across the country with an empty trailer? Who 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 does that? What? Stop it. You're kidding me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Set it up. <laughs> no, that's got to be a typo. Come on. All right, but hey, hey, book the load. Book the load. Let's do it. Man, this thing really is empty. Oh my goodness. YouTube uh, huh. I'll tell you right now I'll tell you right now hold on let me uh let me uh let me uh let me wrap this around my brain here real quick this is wild this is wild wow I don't know if you guys remember right before I went home I had told you guys that we weren't going to be running Wilson Logistics um, Western 11 anymore. We're going to be doing something new, something different. As the company of RST grows, we're trying new things out and testing the waters as you... Uh, yeah. so, so my first load out of the house... My first load out of the house is a cross-country run from Staten Island, New York to Moreno Valley, California with an empty trailer. Trailer relocation services at its finest. Now, some of you may already know right up I know who he's I know what trailer it is because I tell you I've never even heard of Walmart relocating trailers across country I'm well, this is all new to me I when, when I was given the information on this load and given the price that they're paying for this load which is a dollar $46, $1.47 a mile, give or take, $1.46, $1.47 a mile. I was like, all right, it's probably a nice light load, whatever, you know. But then I looked at the information, it's an empty trailer. And I asked a few questions, and I'm like, hey, is this an empty trailer? And, uh, and we were like, oh, I don't know. But then I, 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 dig, I dug around some more, and sure enough, we're relocating a trailer across the country for $1.46 a mile. Now, some of you guys are going to be like, oh, man, that's cheap freight. Uh, well, first of all, there's no freight. 
There's no freight. So we're saving a huge amount of money on fuel for this load. For this trailer. <laughs> um, and a dollar forty six. Wow. I look. I've hauled heavy, 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 heavy stuff for a dollar forty six a mile at like you know nine hundred miles, seven hundred miles. You know, eh. You know, you take what you can get. But hell, I've never hauled an empty trailer across the country and been paid so well to do it. What? Well, some of you have no idea. Some of you are like, yep, I know who he's got. I know what kind of trailer he's got. Some of you don't even have a clue. Some of you already know. I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to show you. We went from we went from one color blue, right? We went from that dark, well it was well it was a black Wilson trailer. We went from prime trailers to black Wilson trailers. We walk over here get a better view of the situation. So we can get a nice shot, if you will. And then I'm gonna turn the camera <laughs> turn the camera around so you can see what we got here. This uh equipment relocation services by RSC. Check it out. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's right, you guys. RST Riverside Transportation Incorporated is now hauling Amazon Prime. Oh yes. Now, let me tell you, let me tell you, I've done the research and I just want to address the negativity that I'm I'm sure I'm going to get, which is a given. But all the research that I've done, everybody that pulls for Amazon loves it. And I gotta tell you, the app is stupid easy to use. Um, everything is like, I, I, I've never seen it so easy ever. The way they designed everything from going to DC to DC and then going, you know, uh, to pick, I haven't, this is my, this is my first load, but. They were telling me that when you go to pick up an empty trailer and then you go to pick up an actual load, get live loaded, because right now we're doing power only, obviously. We're doing power only because we don't have our own trailers yet, but stay tuned for that. So you go, you pick up an empty trailer at a DC. They give you a little QR code on your phone with all your load information. The guard shack scans it. He tells you to go pick up this empty trailer and then go pick up your load, right? You do not, from what I've seen on the load board, nine out of 10 times, your live load situation is, first of all, it's only like half a trailer at best sometimes, LTL stuff, um, very light, makes it so easy. And then you go deliver the load, you give them the paperwork, you scan in the paperwork on your phone when you get you pick up the load. I mean, stupid easy. Stupid, stupid easy. Not having to worry about uh, lumper checks and all that stuff. I mean, don't, I don't know. I mean, I, like I said, I did a lot of research. I haven't seen where guys are having to pay for lumper stuff with Amazon. From all of the, the videos that I looked up on YouTube and a lot of these guys are moving empty trailers around. Um, I mean, stupid, easy stuff. There's a lot of stuff where I could even be home uh, daily. Well, not daily, but close to daily. And um, but when I when I heard when he said, "Hey, there's a there's a load here that pays thirty five hundred dollars to go across the country, and the weight shows zero. and I'm like, "That's got to be a typo." And then when I got the information on my phone, it said empty trailer, empty trailer. You know, at, from the pickup to the delivery. So I'm like, am I hauling an empty trailer across the country? 
And he's, and Chris, my boss, he's like, I don't know. Because this is all still very new to us. So I asked around to a couple of my buddies. He says, yeah, if it says empty trailer, you're just relocating a trailer. And I'm like, well, why would they want to relocate a trailer all the way across the country? Aren't there like a thousand freaking DCs everywhere where they could grab a trailer if they needed it? And they're like, well, they need, they got too many in the east. They need more in the west. That's, that's, the, that's the reason because I think right now, Amazon has like 70,000 trailers in their fleet, which isn't enough apparently because they, they, got, they, they, they keep building DCs all over the place and they're pumping out DCs faster than they can pump out trailers. So, um, but yeah, this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing right now. Myself and a couple of other drivers at RST are the guinea pigs. And um, they've been doing it for about a week and a half, two weeks, and they're loving it. This is my first load. Um, I'm sure there's going to be hiccups. Like, for instance, the, the pre-plan that I was pre-planned on for Friday just got canceled. So there you go. I mean, I mean, maybe we booked it out too soon. I don't know. We're going to figure it all out. We're going to learn the, uh, the system. We're going to learn the, the do's and don'ts, you know, but from what I've seen and heard, this could be a pretty damn good thing. So across the country with an empty trailer, you guys, I, I mean, I mean, how, how, how do you complain? How do you complain? I, I, I might have to fill up one time total to go through, to go almost 3,000 miles. Staten Island to Moreno Valley. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, all right, let me get back in the truck here. But yeah, I'm excited about it. It should be pretty, it should be pretty interesting because the, um, let's see, how do I word this? There's so much in the options department as far as loads and as, you know, as far as, uh, like if you want to stay local, cause like there's a lot of guys that have day caps that haul nothing but Amazon and they stay in their area bouncing from one DC to the next and then they do these little round trips and they make great money stupid stupid money uh, we saw a load the other day that left Hazleton PA right where I live went down to like Allentown to pick up or, dro or drop off a trailer and then pick up another one go to P Philly and then go to Jersey and then come back to Hazleton it's like nine hours worth of work it said for like 800 bucks that's not bad for one day. That, that's not bad. It's like 400 miles round trip, give or take. I can't remember the exact number, but it's like $2 a mile. If you do simple math. So this, I'm not going to, I'm not going to talk it all up and be like, Oh my God, Amazon freight. Oh my God. Da -da -ba -do -ba -do. No, nope. I'm not going to do it yet, but we're going to see. We're going to see what we can see. Just wanted to give you that update, you guys. Just wanted to give you that update. Um, when we get to the uh, DC, I will see what I can get away with showing you. Pretty sure you're not allowed to film on their property, but I'll show you guys the app here. Um, I mean, look, let me just see if I can show you right now how simple this is. Silly simple. Take my glasses, sunglasses off here. I wear my sunglasses in. Okay, so check it out. The funny thing about this app is when you first log on for the day, it asks you, did you check your temperature today? Did you check for the crown illness? Did you have a fever over 100? And, you, and yeah, you have to say no, obviously. If you say yes, I don't know what happens. They prob your phone probably blows up in your hand. I don't know what happens. But anyway, right, we're working right now, so let's resume. So, uh, let me go back to that page real quick. Staten Island, New York, look at this. Empty trailer, it's a Moreno Valley. And the cool thing about this app, the, re the, the, the relay app, they just redid it not too long ago. You hit navigate, right? Check this out. 
the relay app, okay, has proceed to route after a quarter of a mile turn left onto highway 43. Okay. Well, anyway, the relay app is trucker friendly, meaning that it's designed for trucks. For instance, when I was coming from Pennsylvania into Jersey, going towards Staten Island the other day, my Rand McNally over here was like in spas mode. It wanted me to go across the, come down the 80. Now, now picture this, I'm in Pennsylvania, coming down the 80. GPS wanted, I, I gotta go to Staten Island, right over the Gothels Bridge. Literally right over the Gothels Bridge. Everybody knows, take 80, down to the turnpike, go south, hop on the Gothels, and go over it, right? The, the Rand McNally wanted me to go north on the turnpike, go over to GW, go down into to, to the Bronx, to Brooklyn, to Queens, and then go over into Staten Island. I was like, why? What? What? I was like, what's up at Rand McNally? But the cool thing on the Relay app, the Relay app was like, no, don't do that stupid stuff. We know where you're going. And they update their, their stuff all the time when they build new DCs. So um, the Relay app is truck friendly and I'm loving that part about it already. Um, and I'm really loving the fact that it's as simple as pulling up your phone, giving them a QR code to scan and, and boom, they tell you where your trailer's at. You grab your trailer, you, they come back, scan it again, boom, you're gone. Um, when you're going from DC to DC, there's no paperwork when you're going to pick up a live load then you get paperwork from the shipper you scan that paperwork in on your phone into the relay app and then when you get to your destination whether it be another DC or a receiver well, obviously it's gonna be DC but you give them the paperwork and you're done you just want it's that simple it's that simple so from I, obviously this is my first load like I said an empty trailer run across the country and I was like wow across the country with a trailer that's just 3500 bucks wow set that up I thought it was a mistake I thought it was a typo I couldn't believe it myself but yeah that's what we're doing we're in Joplin right now and we're heading that way and we can get it there uh, no we can get it there no later than Saturday at like 1400 I think it is 1455 but we're going to be there way way early which is great because they're like get in there as soon as you can so but anyway uh, we got a lot of cool videos coming up we got a video um, let me show you this real quick I'm going to be doing a review I'm filming right now on my GoPro Hero 8 Black but we're going to be doing a review video an unboxing and a review on an item that I got from Amazon from a seller on Amazon with this GoPro uh, look-alike and I gotta tell you it's called the Brave 7 LE launch edition and I gotta tell you I gotta tell you I'm impressed already I haven't even opened the box okay I haven't even opened the box and I'm already impressed so yeah stay tuned for a video on that and much more uh, make sure you guys hit the comments hit the like button check out the um, the links below in the description box um, if you want to help support the channel hit up the patreon with the patreon you're gonna get early access to all these vlogs and everything and also make sure you check out the teespring for little guy merch and that's really all I got for you today. That's really all I got for you today. We, uh, last video that you saw, we moved into the house. We got the new car. Uh, my wife is finishing up on packing. So next time I get home, we'll be able to do a, a, a walkthrough of everything in the house. We'll also do a review video on the car. Um, if you didn't see the last video, go check it out. That was like a walkthrough of the house empty and stuff. So, and a kind of basic walkthrough of the car. But, uh, we're in the house, we got the car, uh, back on the road here, probably not going to stay out on the road that long, probably a week or two, three weeks at the most, and go back home for some home time, and, uh, but yeah, I'm going to shut up now, I've been rambling on too long, too long, we'll see you guys later, we're out of here.